Oh boy, since I've been doing engine mods lately. <laughs> There's probably some things I need to monitor engine wise. So I picked up a Banks iDash kit and the newly released ADP American Diesel Power uh, gauge pod that goes in the vent. I'm going to unbox those things because who doesn't like a little unboxing? All right, first we're going to do the ADP gauge kit. Kit? I don't know if it's a kit, it's, it's a gauge. Gauge pod? I'm pretty excited for this because this is going to look clean. I believe. Well, there it is, and it's 3D printed glory. Okay, cool. What else is in here? A no. Oh. Black ice. Oh. I'll hang that up. Sure. Why not? Oh, and even a mug thing or my bobber, whatever it's called, and a stick. Cool, that's pretty straightforward. What's nice about this is, this just snaps in the, into the factory vent location. And then you can just run your wire right out through here and the vent, the defrost vent still works, but looks like a nice piece. All right, let me open up the gauge, uh, the Banks gauge, I-dash, is that what it's called? The Banks I-dash, see how it fits in here and see what comes in that box. All right, this was sort of already unboxed, but you get the general consensus. It's still in the original packaging. Here it is. Should be a nice little setup. And if you weren't aware, this is just a OBD2 plug and play unit. Pretty simple to install. No wiring to do, no nothing. Just run this up to the vent, the new ADP vent gauge. Okay, and this is gonna sit in there. Ooh. That's nice. That is not, I don't know. If... Oh, this is double sided tape in there. Okay, that's nice. So this will hold it in there. Actually, I don't want to take that off yet because I got to see how this is going to sit level wise. But you guys get the idea. That's nice. I'm pretty excited for that. It's going to be a real simple install too. Let's work our way into the truck. Take this other vent out. See what's involved with that. I'd imagine it just pops right off. Probably not with my fingernail, but I'll get it. Just get a little, oh, that was super simple. That's out of there. Now I have to figure out exactly where I'm gonna run that wire. Maybe popping this fin out of there will help with that too. Maybe not. Oh boy, I just completely wrecked that. Crap, that was dumb. That was really dumb. Oh, mercy. Oh, this is dumb. And by this was dumb, I mean I am dumb. Welcome to I Am An Idiot Garage. Boy, this just keeps getting worse. I gained plenty of access, that's for sure. Like, what? <laughs> Why am I so stupid? There's only a million pieces holding this together with a good chance of me breaking all of them. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, fix that. Didn't mean to interrupt this gauge pod tutorial with a vent tutorial, but you got it. Well, now I can see, so sure, I guess if you want to go through all the extra work and possibly break your vent, take it out. But otherwise, I highly suggest not taking it out. Now, let's feed this up. I will say the one thing I wish this had was a pass through so you could still put an OBD2 scanner or whatever in it without removing this, but not the end of the world, not a huge deal. If you guys see, I also removed that side panel. That's gonna help with clearance as well. And I'm just gonna feed this cable up in the easiest and cleanest way. And there's gonna be a good bit of extra, I believe. All right, let's see how this thing fits. Might as well just snap this in a while. Let's see how this fit and finishes, which I assume will be pretty good. Ooh, there it is, boys. A little bit of 3D printing marks around the outside, but the well, major's pretty solid, because you're gonna be tapping on these buttons. Yeah, that's in there. Let me grab the gauge. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
I'm a mess. I should not be a tutorial guide. Good thing I'm not. Anyway, there it is, plugged in. Now let's plug it in the bottom. Make sure it works. Make sure nothing silly's going on. There. Okay, so that's working. All right, well, I'm not going to mess with that yet. I'm just going to fully install the actual gauge before I fit around with the parameters and whatnot. To do that, there's just a little bit of double-sided tape back in here that ADP provides you. Get it off with a pick, whatever your choice is. These little guys here. Let's go. Pull this wire down just a little bit so it's not too punched up in there. And I want to get in the driving position so I can make sure it's level with how I want it to be. There we go. Just had to line it up. Let me see. I like that, right there. Yes, very nice, very, very nice. Sweet. I got all this extra cord, so before I really go around and mess with that and get all happy and excited and pushing buttons and stuff, let me finish up the install and put this dreaded vent back in without breaking it. Pull the excess up in here right now. Neatly wrap. There's a huge void in there. All kinds of room for this cable to live. Still works. Yep, still got power. Let me put some of this stuff back together. Might as well throw this vent in. Oh my god. So I freaking drop it. Might as well put this vent in. Make sure I don't mess it up. I'm scared if I can even get it back in without breaking it. It should just all snap in there. Yes. Cool. All right, vent, wor <laughs> vent works. That was my biggest concern with this whole install was this vent. Side cover, back on. There's that. Cool. Man, I need to clean this thing. All right, let's see what this thing is all about. That makes it feel like a race truck, I'll tell you that much. Well, <laughs> just kidding. That makes it seem like a race truck. Let me back out of the garage. All right, what do we have here? Leaders, do I need to, is this stuff on? Oh, no, there we go. So it's set up already. We have all sorts of good, this is actually Pretty good setup already, just off the bat. RPM, speed, coolant temp, load percentage, battery, fuel, is that fuel percentage, fuel liters? Yeah, sure, 56%, yeah. Now forgive me, because I don't know really what any of these buttons do. Oh, uh, gauge layout, okay. What do I have on here that I don't want? I don't need speed, is that probably, that's probably number two. Let's go for a little drive and test out some of these things. Well guys, as far as driving impressions, this thing is awesome. I mean, it's big enough, you can see what you need to see on it. Uh, it's not blinding, it's not blinding me. And the color is pretty close to like the factory blue in the interior here, which is also nice. Now, obviously there's a lot more that I can mess with as far as the gauge display and everything else on here. I'm pretty pumped, I'm pretty happy about that. Let me get back in the garage and we'll mess around a little more with it. Very nice. Turn the truck off. I'm not sure how long it stays on. Turn right off, perfect. Had to run and get some bangs. Home sweet home. If you guys didn't catch any of the videos on the hood stack, well, obviously you're gonna have to. Mess around with this thing just a little bit. If you guys want full details on how this thing works, I'm sure there's a whole YouTube thing just about this, the iDash. Super gauge. It's got a shift light. Not that I don't know why you would need a shift light. Pretty easy to use. Anyway, super happy with that. Fit and finish is very, very good. It's, I mean, it's not perfect. I mean, you can tell it's 3D printed, but it is good. It is nice. The biggest thing that I like about it is it still keeps the factory defrost and it's solid. You'd see, I was pushing on the buttons. It's not going anywhere. Like I was kind of worried that I would push on it and like how it, cause it just clips in. It would just like shink, like shoot out of there but that's not the case. ADP right there on the side. But it fits in well. I mean, it has that nice blue tint that the rest of the truck kind of has on the inside. No complaints with that at all. My only complaint is with myself for trying to take this freaking thing out of there, 
thank the Lord I was able to get it working correctly because that would have really annoyed me had I broken that and had to buy a new one. But either way, thanks for watching this video, guys. I do recommend that gauge pod if you want it. There was another guy who makes them on Facebook, uh, but I think he's pretty backed up. So that's why I actually went with ADP and they got me mine in about about three weeks. It did take a little bit because I think they're probably a little back order too. I have it now and it fits and it works great. And the Banks eye dash is phenomenal as well. So the inside of the Colorado getting some mods. More to come on the inside though. This isn't this isn't all the insides getting. Stay tuned for that. Don't forget to check out Hood Stack Goodness over there. And the other mods that I've done on the inside, if you guys didn't recall, I do have the, the nice cell phone mount over there. I did the blazer shift knob swap. I need to do something with this plastic, the silver plastic going around here. Let me know what you guys think about what I should do with that silver plastic. I have a couple ideas in mind, but I'd like your thoughts too. So leave a comment because I really am curious. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video.